Stewart, that little kick from Fittler, bouncing ball through the chasers, come and chance, oh, what about this, what about this, oh, what a dream start for the Blues, what a dream start, beautiful kick from Fittler, the youngest player in a starting lineup for New South Wales, well, an explosive start here from the Blues, watch this, ball comes out to Stewart, Roars it out there to young Fittler. He just stabs at the ball and up and bounces. And the chases come through. Johns was there. John straight on it and over. A oh, marvellous try. Yeah, great start for New South Wales. And no doubt that the, uh, the both chases, Chris Johns and Michael O'Connor, were on side. Michael O'Connor found Michael Hancock found it difficult to turn around. Chris Johns outpaced him and scored in the corner. A dream start for New South Wales. John's third try in State of Origin. Well, Queensland rocked at the moment. All beaters out from the halfway line is Cartwright. New South Wales tried to catch Queensland out with a different ploy there. They looked as though they were going to kick with their chases going down. And they, in fact, gave it to John Cartwright. Not a bad ploy. Stewart kicks downfield, picked up by Hoff. Hoff now. The big leg start to pop out for Hoff over the halfway line. Trunch down, though. Oh, big run from Hoff. Has he played a great... Gillespie rides into the ground. Langer now to the right. Cut out ball. Lewis. Meninga. Now Paul Hoff. Hoff inside the pen. He's over. Hoff. Reds are well as they have numbers. Peter Coyne. Linking up with Brother Mark. He will slide through. Coming across. But no good. Mulder Hill and the Saints stretch them on either side of the ground. And they come up with the first try in South Australia. The Saints with the smell of another try. Priddle, round the back. Beautiful hands of fire to the corner. Does he get another one? He got it down. He can really finish this, man. Right on the 22, and it's on the last tackle. Hodges. Little kick for Beatty. Martin, the fire was put down. It doesn't matter. Michael Beatty laid this on really for himself there was a quick chat to troy hodges they got together they set it up through the forwards and it worked perfectly just for west scampering away as the winger simons and simons will score simons scoring from the canterbury mistake thomas taylor short ball away to brit canterbury defense really being tested here as Jackson goes for the line, he's over. Steve Jackson, the try scoring specialist. Troy Cassell to play it, 20 metres out. Maguire working hard with Lamb. On it goes to McGrady. Holds it up for Davies. Davies is through, he's only five out. Davies is over. What a brilliant burst from the fullback. Last tackle coming up for West now as Taylor goes for a long range field goal. It's a solid boot. What a tremendous field goal. That ball kicked from 35 metres out by Taylor with the wind, admittedly, but he really hit it. It's 15 to 6 to West. Occasions in play in this second half, as opposed to the Warriors, too. Look at Riolo go. Yes, he takes it and he slips out the tackle, gets a pass away to Matthews. Matthews going for the corner. This will be a try. And Illawarra score the first try of the match and go to a lead of 8 points to 2. Running square. Russell, that pass looked a little forward. Piccinelli, Rodwell, Rodwell's over. Rodwell will come around to score his first try of the season. And it's clinched the game here at the Wollongong Showground. They've scored two smart tries. And this man, Blaney, has ignited them since he came on. Here's another go. It's Riolo, the fullback. One on one. Too much pace for O'Neill. That is a superb try. And the fans at the Wollongong Showground a record crowd rises one. Well, scarred Gary Jack has been in and out of hospital as a result of this brawl with Manly and Australian second rower Ian Roberts. 
right confrontation was with Matthew Ridge, um, and and that's all there was to it. And uh, uh, Roberts has come in and grabbed me, and another manly player has held me, and and Roberts proceeded to you know, bash bash the out of me. Everyone knows my style of play, you know, and they know that that's not my go. Um, yeah, you know, I, I regret the incident, but um, let's be honest, I wasn't the instigator. Manly coach Graham Lowe agrees with Roberts and feels Jack's motivation is something other than justice. Some players probably think it's it's easier to try and get money off the field than uh, than on. High-profile lawyer Chris Murphy is representing Jack and will serve a $100,000 writ for damages on Roberts when he returns from the Melbourne Test on Thursday. To play into a melee between two players and hit the, the offending player and get away with it, well, I think they're making a mockery of the whole situation, which they've been good over the last three or four years. Third player in gets sent off straight away. If they're letting Roberts get away with this, I think they'll be in for a pretty tough season for the rest of the year because other players will have watched them. Yeah, I think it's OK. As the Sharks always do well, watch him put Craig Teepen in open space, who in turn finds docking. The Sea Eagles thought an air attack would be the best policy, and David Lydiard proved the theory right. In the second half, Manly surged ahead with tries by Darrell Williams and this one from Glenn Bourne. The Sea Eagles had now built what should have been a match-winning lead of 22-10 midway through the half. But late tries from Docking and Davidson allowed the Sharks to scramble a draw. In the last six rounds, Manly have just the one victory. The Tanza. Bennett and Tool cannon into each other and they're both down. So there's three down on the deck and there's only ten in the line. Enter! Only inches away. They've still got two men down. They just can't work out the numbers though, Penrith. Izzard was only just denied. Bentley trying to run this side around. The North Sydney trainers trying to get two men back in the line. Alexander, Alexander cutting loose, Carter taken. A real rush from Penrith, but Brian Nick. There's trainers on the field, they're calling for the referee to stop the game. These two players are badly hurt. Yeah, both players come in with the intent of hitting hard, but unfortunately for Fennec and Tool, Joe Vitanz have ducked at the last moment and they contacted heads. A busy head bend. Bentley hears them calling to the outside. Mackay. Mackay still travelling. Five metres out. Last tackle. Do the Bears hang on? Alexander. There's danger here. He's on. What a tackle. No try. Can anyone work out the puzzle here? The puzzle about finding a try. Maybe. Wilson comes up, chip and chase, is it an Alexander special? Kisses there, it beats everybody. That's how close we finally came to a try. In the danger zone. Blarimo blindside, what a fend. He threw two away to the in goal. Zurev getting there, he takes it. No one's moved. No one has moved from this ground. Zurev, we might have a try, no. Great tackle from Wilson. Still no try and time almost gone. Alexander. Alexander. They call him the king out west. Strong run from Russell. He goes straight through. He gets the ball to Sherlock. Sherlock's got support. And this will be a try to eastern suburbs as Wayne Marshall goes in to score. About 15 metres to the left-hand side of the uprights. Orford. And Orford's gone straight through them. Who's he got with him? Salvatore's up here. Salvatore going for the sideline. Pushes off Stewart. Big Salvatore will score for Eastern Suburbs right under the posts. Salvatore lined him up and drove him. Stewart. Oh, beautiful ball to Gary Coyne. Gary Coyne's through, but there's not a soul with him. Coyne still standing, throws it back on the inside to Boyd, and Boyd will score a gem of a try. 
Down the blind side goes Georgialis. Georgialis. Georgialis will score. Beautiful black barrel racing. Colby says, whoop, get you one. He says, that's how I'm having fun. Forget the barrel race. Always wanted to be a saddle brock car. Always wanted to be. Only her ego was bruised and hurt. Remember, you cannot run folks through a solid wall. Unless you're Rodney McRae, huh?